Now we're about to pull the entire engine harness out. Finally. Now we gotta put the Challenger one in. Can't even tell the rat was in there. Complete with the engine harness now. <laughs> Center console is out. Before this video starts, just drop some new merch on HelloClothing.com. The first 10 orders get a free gift from me. We got some brand new Driftcat shirts and some brand new Turbo Mero shirts. The first Turbo Mero merch drop, so I hope you guys like it. Anyway, let's get right to the video. Hello, I'm Jensen. What's going on, guys? So this is episode four of the Six Speed Swap Hellcat Charger build series. In last episode, I thought we were just gonna slap the, the clutch and the transmission in. We are very far from that. I made an official checklist of everything that we need to do on this car for it to be finished this isn't in order but let's just start from here so we got to change the diff and axles change the diff fluid we got to do an oil change we got to change both belts so serpentine belt and supercharger belt we got to change the uh, brake booster master cylinder for the manual style one do the brake fluid in that clutch line from the uh, master cylinder to the actual clutch plug the radiator from the old automatic transmission lines fix the wires that were chewed so we're gonna solder the wires and make it as professional as possible we got to do the fuel line that kind of disintegrated because I'm running E85 it was a rubber hose we got to fix that I'm gonna have to get the drive shaft made because the drive shaft is three or four inches longer than the automatic one fill the transmission full of fluid finish plugging in the rest of the harness we got to do the supercharger snout bushings and then get to the clutch installing the trans pilot bearing put the alternate back on install the pedals take out the center console and cut the transmission tunnel for the uh, the shifter and then tune an alignment and like I said that's not necessarily in order but that's everything that we need to do I'm not sure what we're gonna get started on today I'm thinking we might have to get the center console out and get ready to cut the uh, the trans tunnel yeah let's get started <laughs> and getting this wiring harness in Got all the injectors in. Pretty much routed the entire harness. I gotta hook up the coil packs and the alternator, but everything else is routed. Still have to fix those wires that were chewed on this side, but my guy Danny's about to hop on it right now. Get those soldered up, making them look brand new again. The alternator back on. Wiring harness all hooked up. Danny got that side all fixed. It looks factory can't even tell a rat was in there pretty much complete with the engine harness now so for right now we're just gonna do a quick mock-up we're gonna throw the bell housing on the back of the motor and then put the trans up right behind it so we can get an idea of where we will have to cut the transmission tunnel for the shifter that way we don't have to go through mounting the clutch and all that stuff and have something be in the way Got the bell housing mocked up in there, putting the trans in there just to mock it up, see where we need to cut this damn hole. Next step, we'll be going in the car, taking out the center console. That? Mm hmm. You sure about that? Mm -hmm. You sure about that? I hope so. <laughs> okay, now we have a general sense of where we're gonna need to cut the hole. So now we have the hole marked, figure out how to get this damn center console out. Hopefully we don't have to take any seats out. Got the center console all cleaned out because we're gonna have to get to some screws in there. Ugh. You good? <laughs> Found a ton of stickers. OG Dab Squatch stickers. Look at this. Good driver, bad record. Bridges popped these off, huh? Yeah, like so. Try it. So underneath, there's one wire connector. Got that plug undone. Under the plug, there's one screw right there to get the shift knob off. Four screws in the center console. Couple bolts on the sides. Sheesh. Shifter is out. We got one connection here. Sheesh. Good center console. It's not too terrible. I thought it was gonna be a pain in the ass to get this out. Center console is out. All right. 
damn, shifting gears already? Ski, skrr, ski, 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 ski. Woo. Woo Woo I'm guessing drill one hole to see where we're at. Uh, I oh. think we should just remove the, uh, the cover at the bottom. And then should have this, you know. Going back in the air, but center console is out. Perfectly where that end dent is. So yeah, we're pretty much just gonna cut this thing now, huh? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Tell them what you're doing, bro. We got a little template if you want. A little template. Mm -hmm. Now he's gonna... <laughs> Cook from the clampy wampies. <laughs> Tell the people what kind of drill bit you're using. What are you gonna use? Ooh, big dog. Oh, that one's fucked up. Oh. So that is where we'll be, we will be cutting out. Let's get to cutting. <laughs> All right, back at it. <laughs> Clean hole. <laughs> Pause, no diddy. She's getting there. But right now, we don't have a saw to cut the entire hole for the crane. So what we're going to do is drill holes around the perimeter, and then hopefully we'll be able to just knock it in. Because we don't want to cause too much spark either for the interior. And accidentally light the interior on fire while it's up in the air, that would be... Much needed? I mean, not, not yet. Not good. <laughs> not good. Drilled a few holes. But that's being a pain in the ass. All right, back at the house now. So we got a bunch of stuff done on the checklist. I forgot to take a video of the final look of the transmission tunnel cut that we made. I'll show you guys tomorrow, but so far today, we ended up, I'm looking at the checklist. I got the, you know, the checks right there. So today we knocked out a decent amount of stuff. We fixed the wires that the rat chewed, got the wiring harness looking all factory again, OEM, not looking like it's so unbunched on it. Fixed the wires, finished plugging in the rest of the engine harness, so the plugs and everything are back on. Installed the alternator, got the plug under the alternator that was giving us a hassle. Got all that done and then we finally got the center console out and then we and then we cut the hole in the transmission tunnel. Um, having a pain in the ass. It's two layers thick and the metal is really, really strong. So didn't have the right saw to cut it, but we ended up making it happen. But that's pretty much gonna be the end of episode four. I appreciate everyone tuning in, showing love. There's a couple people saying, you know, stop talking as much or, you know, it gets boring if we only show one thing. If you guys didn't realize in the last video with the engine harness, we spent 12 hours trying to figure out how to reroute that engine harness and just dealing with that all day, dealing with the plug that we couldn't get. So sorry if <laughs> some of these are boring, but trying my best to film, wrench, figure out what's going on with the swap at the same time it's a lot so everyone that's watching the videos and supporting and liking and appreciating them thank you <laughs> i love you guys anyway like you guys saw in the beginning of the video just dropped some new t-shirts so if you can please go support the channel hello clothing.com link is in the description below and i'll see you guys in the next video deuces